So we're just adding a little bit every single time. This is week three of our big gym session. Um, so this will be our last week where we're now into some, some progressive overload. We use the first kind of uh, mini session as a as an intro and um, teaching movement standards. Now we're, we're full bore into progressive overload. Everybody's technically competent and really getting something out of it. So we're getting after it pretty hard. Girls had a chance to choose whether they wanted to do clean pulls or power cleans. Did six sets of three there, moved on to that same uh, tri set, super set that we have been doing the past couple weeks of squats, uh, pull ups, and weighted push ups. This time, though, we, we lowered the reps on uh, our last three sets of squats, give them an opportunity to go up in weight. We're pushing around some decent weight now, quite a bit above body weight for about half the team. Uh, full range squats for multiple sets of six, which is pretty solid, uh, especially considering where we came in. We got a pretty strong team. Um, and then I'm, what I'm doing is with the accessory stuff, I'm varying it up from week to week so that we see a little bit different exposure for the, uh, the trunk muscles and the posterior chain, just because those, those two areas, I think, um, we don't have the opportunity to, to uh, really reach stimulus threshold too often, specifically in the gym with them. Can't spend a lot of time on it, so I want them to be exposed to different things on a kind of switching it up so the, uh, there's some regularity in there so they can adapt to it, but enough that they are able to uh, be exposed to high eccentric loads, high concentric loads, um, knee flexion, hip extension, all that, all at one so they're prepared and a little bit more resilient and robust, prepared to have a higher injury prevention.